Hey, how are y'all doing? Uh, my name is Jeremy. Stormy is with me. This is a, a three-minute devotional. Let's try to hold it to three minutes, all right? Yeah. You never know how the Holy Spirit's going to lead you what to say, what to do. All right? All right, so all this will be God-breathed, but it is a devotional written by man, but is reference to a Bible verse, a very important one here. Here we go. This is uh, titled Heart Protection. How can a young person stay pure? By obeying your word. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, 9 and 11. Gloves protect your hands. Shoes protect your feet. Safety goggles protect your eyes. What protects your heart? Hearts are where spiritual decisions are made. The heart remains unprotected when you don't know which rules to follow. Accurate spiritual decisions can't be made when you have no idea what God has to say about important life issues. When you argue that you have no time to read God's word, you shouldn't be surprised when you break his law. Consuming God's word is essential in learning how to live a godly life. Your decisions can't be made simply because you feel like it or because the majority of people you talk to believe you should do something. The integrity of your heart and the decisions it makes will always be based on your willingness to consult God's word and obey it. Huh. Very nice. I'm, I'm a big stickler for that. I mean, uh, that is our life map. All Christians, I mean, just see what God's word says. See what God says about it. Ask your father. See what your father says about it, whether it's in the Old Testament or New Testament, or just be in prayer about it if it's something that uh, you have some time. But here's here's a quick prayer they like to do. If you were to pray about it, here's a prayer, an, ex, uh, an example of a prayer. God, protect my heart from evil and help me not to let anything into my heart that would corrupt me. Remind me to take time to soak in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Right? So that is a big deal to always pay, pray for protection. Pray for that you're protected from demonic people or demonic things from the enemy and evil, but you will have a, a sense of when that's going to happen because if you're well equipped and you know God's word and you hold it on your heart, you have the armor of God on you and you're protected. Uh, some of us are very well protective and... Uh, a lot of time there's a lot of peace around us, but there is some trouble, but we know how to handle it because we have God's word and it guides us on how to handle these life problems, quotes, problems, or, or troubles, or storms. Because we all do go through, uh, I guess you could say storms, but it is it does become uh, perspective and it becomes relative to each person based off, I say, their faith and how well they know God. God and if they're and if we're children of God and if he loves us he's going to take care of us and protect us and not let anything too too bad happen to us too troubling and if he does it is to glorify him and to make him known in a way to speak so um so God it is uh it's very exciting to be in a relationship with God to be a Christian uh to 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 leave your life to Leave your lay down your life and pick up your cross and follow Jesus. It's pretty pretty exciting the things that God will want us to do. So always pray for the obedience to be obedient to what the Word of God says. All right. So that's when you will fulfill God's plan and purpose for your life and His will, and ultimately get you to the destiny that He wants you to get to, and then into eternity, into heaven with Jesus, with Father God, and all the other Christians that made it into heaven. It's pretty exciting stuff, and we do it all because, because we're thankful for God, for Father God, what He's done by sending His only begotten Son to die for us, so we shall not perish, but have eternal life, everlasting life in heaven. And He died for us on the cross. For, for our sins, He paid the debt, all right? So through salvation in God, uh, through making Him the Lord of your life, um, all the past, all the past sins are forgiven. Forgiven, you have new life. You are born again. Uh, and you actually have to almost take that literally to where when you are, when you confess that with your mouth and open your heart to that, um, and then get, and then, and then get baptized. It is totally new life, and you have to believe that. And you gotta, 
let the past, I mean, yeah, it's left scars in us and it's hard to deal with a lot of real hard situations, but now he, now know that you have a father, a father that loves you so much and and Jesus, what he did for you and what the, he left us the Holy Spirit. So just knowing that and knowing what the word of God says, all the truths and promises, it's a pretty, pretty awesome, fantastic um, to have a God that loves us that much and he's here with us here every step of the way but to have full access to God you have to be in a close relationship you have to actually pursue him because he's been pursuing all of us whether we're Christians or not you can tell when he was pursuing you when you're in your teens when you're 20s 30s he was pursuing us we just never surrendered but uh he calls us all at a certain time in a certain season uh yeah, we have to go through some stuff. Maybe it's for our testimony, or it's maybe it's because we're stubborn. If you've ever had teenagers, or we've been teenagers. Um, uh, but when he gets us and we surrender our life to him and his will, it's so, so awesome. He's a loving, loving father. And it keeps going from glory to glory to glory. It's awesome. And, uh, and we're called to become more like Jesus lead a holy life, become more righteous like his son, like Jesus did. Uh, Jesus was the example. He was the uh, the perfect example, born of the, born of the virgin birth, lived here on the earth, walked among man, uh, became a man among us, a sinless, perfect life, but then died a horrible death on the cross for us, but was resurrected in three days. Pretty awesome, and that's why we celebrate today. And, uh, yeah, so... That's all I got to say about that, but as I was saying earlier, have the Word of God with you. So how we do that is being in the Word of God, being in the Bible, either on your phone, Bible Hub's what I use, BibleHub.com, very easy. You can download some apps if you want, be in the Word of God in your Bible, anything is better than nothing. Just turn into John or Romans or Ephesians 1 and 2, uh, it'll change your life, the Word of God. It's sharper than any double-edged sword. It, and when we're in the body of Christ and with other Christians, iron sharpens iron. So, ah, so let's see. Checkpoints. To get in a close relationship with God, be in the Word of God. Be in prayer. Be in the body of Christ. At a local church that teaches from the Bible and teaches the Holy Spirit. All right? It's very important that they teach from the Bible and about the Holy Spirit. It's uh, very awesome because the Holy Spirit fills us it takes up most of us it should on the inside we're so of the flesh but the spirit is in me it leads me right so all right so checkpoints reiterate what i already reiterated be in the word of god be in prayer that's how we communicate with our heavenly father and he hears our prayers all right ask anything in his name you know anything anything in Jesus' name and they hear your prayers it may not come true right away but it'll come come true the prayer will be answered at the right time, at the perfect time, because sometimes you're not quite ready for that yet. I know you're asking for it, but you may not be quite ready for that yet. But I'm getting you ready for that, because I know that's the desires of your heart, and he wants to give you the desires of your heart, even if it's a cute little cat. <laughs> Stormy came just at the right time in my life. So he'll send you exactly what you need at the right time, whether it is friends, relationships, whether it's physical, emotional, maybe it's financial or monetary, just at the right time. He always provides everything we need because he is a good, good father, a loving, loving father. Uh, yeah. All right. Love you guys. Stay in the word of God and pray. Pray for me. Pray for your friends. Pray for your coworkers. Be in the body of Christ. Very exciting. Saturday nights at church, Sundays at church. Very exciting. Especially when you know God is there. The Holy Spirit shows up and it fills you and it's just so exciting. That's our chance to worship and praise and be thankful for what he's done for us, what he's done for us, what he's doing right now, and for what he's going to do. It's pretty exciting. Be like, yeah, let's do this. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Love you guys. See ya. Peace. Do we, uh... Yeah, there we go.